I'm a single mom of two boys just getting my life back together. And this is what happens. Amberly Spradlin and her sons, a four-year-old and a six-month-old, were sleeping when someone began pounding on their door at 3 a.m. Just feet away, this vacant home was in flames. By the time I came out, I seen that, you know, the fire was starting to spread to my side of the house. Within 10 minutes, the roof on the empty home collapsed, but firefighters kept it from doing a lot of damage to Amberly's home. You know, everything I own is in that house. You know, all of my baby's stuff is in that house. If that would have caught on fire, I would have lost everything that I have. And that is the worst feeling in the world. It was the family's first night living in this home, which Amber Lee says didn't have smoke detectors. I got out. I got me and my babies out, and that's by the grace of God. Then around 6.30 a.m., flames sparked again. I just come by to check to make sure my house, you know, Nobody's broke into it, and my mom discovers that the house is on fire again. Crews were there within minutes to handle the rekindle. Another scary moment for the Spradlins. I'm just now getting back out on my own with my kids. I was proud of it, and now I don't know what I'm going to do. Investigators are still searching for a cause, hoping surveillance video from around the area will help. In South Columbus, Robin Haynes, NBC4.